and uh, Margaret, excuse me, Margaret Ann Windsor, and uh, actually I'm the Queen of England, legal, kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama and given another name, uh, name of a dead twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey, which is a name I still have to use, and uh, I married to children. My father is Edward VIII. Uh, my aunt is Georgia O'Keefe. My mom, who my father married, a school teacher from Madison, Wisconsin, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Windsor. Of course, you all know who this is. She's uh, said she's going to abdicate, but first I thought she had to be the real monarch to abdicate. Evidently, all the rules have been changed. Illegal, but they've gotten away with it so far. After all, Charles has waited to be king for a long time. There's just one problem. He ain't the king, excuse me, and she ain't the monarch. She represents the Illuminati that kidnapped me. And... Uh, installed her father, illegal George the Sixth, took down my father, Edward the Eighth, with lies, character assassination. He never married Wallace Simpson. She married a double. There was more than one imposter pretending to be Edward the Eighth. So this whole takedown has been done and revived when Meghan Markle married Harry. It's a question if that's really Harry, okay? Uh, Elizabeth has had every chance in the book over the years. She came right by Roanoke when the shootings in Virginia Tech happened, the 33 that died, the shooter, and uh, he was programmed to shoot himself and shoot the others. She came right by because she was going to Richmond, the state capital here in Virginia, and she's going to speak before uh, their um, capital there. Okay, she went on to uh, D.C. to get a gala done for her there, and then I think she went on to New York, and uh, some more things happened. Anyway, I guess she forgot I was sitting up on the top of the uh, mountain here, uh, Full Heart Knob, living on the Appalachian Trail, starving, freezing, and um, and now she's going to abdicate. Well, I, I am the real monarch. I mean, you can go ahead and abdicate, and you may get away with it. Of course, it's illegal. I am the legal heir. My father made way f for it. He never meant to leave. And um, it was all legal. And then they had to kidnap me. I was born in 39. I'm going to show George in 39 with Roosevelt, who appointed JFK's father, Joe Kennedy, ambassador to England, 36, specifically to take out my dad. He became king. Here's a picture. He's with Roosevelt, President Roosevelt, who's Jew, and the president, and Illuminati, Freemason. And then um, the people that stole me are the Illuminati, Freemason, Rockefeller's Jewish, uh, Rothschild's Jewish, control the banking, and Bilderbergers. And then you got the good old Kennedys, Joe Kennedy and Jeff K and the whole Kennedy clan. They're Irish. Well, darn. My mom was from Irish descent, too. Um, O'Keefe. <laughs> you ever heard the word O'Keefe of uh, you Kennedys? Yeah, you have. Uh, okay. There was one other thing here, and obviously, oh, I, I was going to tell about this in a minute, and I know this, I'm not going to apologize, because I can't help it. I just got the moving stuff, and Anyway, my father, this is something that was supposed to be sealed for a hundred years, put a seal on it. <laughs> uh, you got Winston Churchill, you got the Church of England, and um, they're friends of Eisenhower, of Truman, of Roosevelt, the global government, that when they took down my father, there were illegal treaties made that he wouldn't follow orders from the global government, the Illuminati, so see what they did to him. So... Um, because of the illegal treaties, the United Nation came to be, and that's your global government that kidnapped me, took my father down. And uh, it's right there alongside or, or close in New York City to Rockefeller headquarters. 
So this was supposed to stay sealed. But a friend of mine, Robert, <laughs> I hope you're okay. I think you were a friend. I hope so. Um, he gave this to me, but somehow I folded it and lost the original. So, But it's about, it's supposed to stay sealed, and this is 1-30-2003. I looked up one day where I was for a few days near the Appalachian Trail, and it had my father on there. Um, by the time I got this, I believe I'm right there. Anyway, this is a lie. It's the most horrible things if you could read it. Um, I, I mean, Wallace married a double, an imposter, just became the illegal Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Oh, uh, now, where have I gotten to? The whole thing is sickening. You can't, this is not my father. My father, a very honorable man, that's what just really, they have smeared my father, a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful man. And it is so sick. And to hear some of them still making the lies up, Elizabeth remaining quiet now, then Charles, he's waited so long, he's she may abdicate. And like I said, how do you abdicate when you're not the real monarch? I don't know. I guess you get away with it, right? They have so far. And she represents the uh, Illuminati that kidnapped me. In essence, took out was trying to take out Great Britain. And therein, I'm going to go further if I can get this on a tape. I think I showed where her father was with Roosevelt, and they're planning my kidnapping. I was born in 39, and this is in 39, Hyde Park. So I think I got Elizabeth, bless her soul, up there. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, if I'm going around here, it's the best I can do. I just moved yesterday again, and it's... um. JFK, I am going to put this up right now, though. JFK um, was, well, this is his daughter, okay, Caroline. And this is Obama. And let me remind you that Obama went to stay a couple of nights at Windsor Castle be, while he's still president a couple of years ago. He brought the little George, who they would like to say is going to become king one day. I hope God steps in if that's what it takes and stops the whole kitten caboodle once and for all. Um, anyway, he took, um, well, the other presidents have stayed, Ronald Reagan, all of them stayed in Buckingham Palace, etc. And that ought to tell you something. They all went to, is it Yale, where all the uh, Illuminati Freemason went to? All your presidents have been. I didn't think Jimmy Carter was a part of the Illuminati, but I'm getting to that in a minute when he became governor and then president. Uh, but anyway, this is a picture Caroline and Obama, and he appointed her ambassador to Japan, and it says here in this article what um, uh, why there's more to it, and I, I don't want to dwell on it. Why uh, is she ambassador? Because she's Kennedy, and Obama Obama likes them. Okay, doesn't matter if they're crooks, but he spent the night there or a couple of nights at Windsor Castle and with Elizabeth and company and brought little a little George a rocky horse, rocking horse. And it reminded me of the rocking horse, my son Mark, who's a real heir after me. Uh, and I put the picture. I'm not, I'm not going to do that again, though. And where he was on a little rocking horse, and I hope the hell that my son went through, both of them, is told. And everyone in the world has to accept that what 
ugly things were done in the theft of the British monarchy. Okay, so anyway, um, if people look at her, they don't know all the background. And quite frankly, people have told me they don't give a damn. What's happened to me, all this? Okay, I'm going to put this down. I am going to read this because I wrote a book about mind control. And this is when Larry Flint was shot. And I'm going to go ahead and show this because I think this is part of what they meant to be. Um, the book I wrote was about mind control. And I hadn't learned about my kidnapping, but I've been told that I always knew who I am. Uh, it was only when it was out there after 1983 and I was in this campaign that I started to remember and things that you can't dispute, but you got to get it into court. This is Mr. Flint when I, uh, he endorsed me in um, April of 84. Now, let me remind you, I had been out to his home in Bel Air uh, October twice of 83, he helped me in the campaign to replace Congressman Dr. Larry McDonald from Piedmont Hospital, Atlanta. Uh, supposedly, he had gone down in the KAL that was shot down en route uh, from uh, Anch um, Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. 296 plus him supposedly went down and drowned. Now, that was taken off course 10 miles into uh, Russian airspace, so of course they're going to shoot it down. This is how the pilot can be programmed, and he was. He, he was a seasoned pilot. There were comments and pieces about it, it was unreal because the pilot was so great. Well, I can tell you what happened. He was programmed to go, programmed to go down, be shot down. Now, this is, I didn't win in that, campaign um and that's why i started i found out for sure of course it's laced through it all um who i am if you can follow some of it because j just an example when i'm doing the book and mr flint was shot and the guy was programmed to shoot him just like george wallace the guy was programmed to shoot him etc oh uh, but uh so Larry Flint was shot while I was living at uh, Moonraker Apartments in Marietta. He was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, with a magnum. His guts all over the sidewalk. Excuse me, but that's the truth. Okay, it was on March the sixth of seventy-eight. Now then, Lawrenceville is part of Lawrence, using Lawrence County, Alabama, where they took me to Moulton, uh, Moulton, Alabama, it's in Lawrence County. Okay, birth certificates for the twins come out of the state capital, Montgomery, Alabama. A lot of these things have been done using Montgomery, okay, in it, the murders that are done in patterns. So Mr. Flint flew me out there, and the KAO uh, was shot down in Larry McDonald, and that caused the special election that I ran in. Um, it was August 31st of 83, and Mr. Flint says here that I know who was responsible for his shooting. He mentions Larry McDonald and, uh, Some others here that were involved in it. Um, so, oh, yeah, Al Burroughs, State Senator Thomas Murphy, a cover-up kid. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, this was the book, and now then, oddly enough, some of the things I was almost killed more than once, believe me. Ask, ask Henry Kissinger, former... Um, 18 minute gap in the Watergate tapes. Former, uh, White House. Uh, he worked on the staff. Right. By the way, the uh, tapes were made right in the White House. Nixon, right there in the office. And um, he was Secretary of State, and then he was Secretary of Defense. Now he is. Uh, way up there, if not head of the global government that I'm talking about, that kidnapped me, your Freemason, your Illuminati, that Elizabeth represents. She's illegal. 
uh, I say it again, it ain't, ain't funny. It's just that I don't know how else to put all this. It's so horrible. So here is uh, the Tesla files that were stolen. And I was writing about this, really. Uh, and some of the, the, what I started to say was some of the f media that's supposed to be your good media, like George Norrie and Coast to Coast and Clyde um, Lewis on um, the Ground Zero is about it that's left. I think they took out Jones, Alex Jones. But, see, they're not going to tell about me because it tells about my kidnapping, my father, and the invasion by the United States into the U.K. And the whole point was the Illuminati, which <laughs> all your presidents have been. Uh, I hope Trump isn't. But anyway, um, I'm going, I don't want to lose my train of thought. In this, the... Um, they're not going to tell about it because of who I am, and it's so horrific. Having the monarch sit here, tortured the real one, and my children, God help them to be alive and safe, and take down my father and pretending to be friends of my country when you went in and partnered with good old Winston Churchill uh, and the Church of England. How's that? And there's some more. <laughs> Obviously, some of my family, a few. And I'm not going to, I think there's a lot of my family that did try to help. I do. I know there's some. Okay, this is about Star Wars. It says the Tesla uh, inventions could be applied in a variety of ways for military purposes. Well, a Philadelphia experience, experiment, excuse me. Um, partial beam weapons, worldwide radar, earth... Uh, contrivances. I can't read part of it. It's blacked out there. Brainwave manipulation. That's the one you should... One of more magnifying transmitters could supposedly send destructive impulses through the Earth at any location. Um, so anyway, this the Tesla files were stolen in 1930, supposedly by, uh, this is the odd part, I'm doing the book, and it's about the Tesla files, and professor um, at MIT was John George Trump, uh, the uncle of President Trump. And last night, or night before, is when Clyde Lewis, I think it was, I hope I haven't, uh, because one comes on and then coast to coast comes on, was telling uh, <laughs> a few things. Uh, well, he was telling about um, uh, Trump and uh, about the files being stolen, and um, his uncle was a part of Professor and all this part of it. Well, the, the files were really stolen by the Illuminati. S supposedly the FBI got them too, and supposedly Trump's uncle was a part of I don't know if he's a good guy or bad. Uh, there's a lot of bad things connected with this because it, uh, the mind control I was writing about, uh, Tesla, was uh, you've had ways to cure or create illnesses using mind control ever since 1930. So I, all this bit about going out and uh, donations and having telephone... Uh, tele I'm tired. Telephones, tel I can't even talk today. Maybe I better just shut up. Uh, to get to to get a cure, all they do with it is, uh, and it's, there's nothing funny about it. What do you do about it? <coughs> See you're trying to get somebody to listen. I guess and not call you a nutcase and knock at the door, and you know. Uh, so they've got cure. So they're putting it into just more what. Um, you can cure an Ill illness or create an illness. So I'm going to leave it there. You, you can think about it.